Hi, this is Christine at My Garden Candy, and I'm going to show you a demonstration of two different spiralizers. At Garden Candy, we love to spiralize vegetables. We make raw salads with it. You might have seen our rainbow spiral salad, which is really great, served with a nice spicy peanut sauce. We also like to use it to create vegetable noodles that allow us to replace some of the carbohydrates in some of our dishes. So I'm gonna use two different spiralizers with a couple of different vegetables, and then you'll see my take on, on spiral. One thing to keep in mind is that you don't want to buy the biggest zucchini in the store or at the market. Um, the, each spiralizer can only accommodate um, a certain size, up to a certain size, so you want to kind of be aware of that. So let's get started. So I'm going to start with the zucchini that I've cut in half and I'm going to begin with the vegetti. And this spiralizer has a thin and a thick um, noodle size and you could choose the one you want. I typically like the thick, thicker noodles so we'll start with that. And the best thing to do is to hold it with the blades facing down because that's where the zucchini is going to come out. And then you simply insert the vegetable oops, and twist. And you can see it makes nice thick uniform noodles. <laughs> losing my grip. I just washed the zucchini and I didn't really dry it that much. When you get down to the end of the, um, with the vegetti, there is a cap with teeth in it that will help you finish up the job and keep your fingers outside of those uh, sharp blades. So there you go. Okay, so what I normally do when I'm going to serve a salad, let's say, or even a pasta dish, is I will cut it in half because if you've noticed, most of those noodles are all one noodle. So there you go. This little piece is a little bit bigger than, oh, there it came apart. So you see, it made for nice, thick, spiralized noodles. Okay, so that's the vegetti. Now we're going to move on to the microplane. I'm going to use the other half of the zucchini and this one's a little bit different in how you hold it and I'm going to make my noodles with the microplane. Now what I found is with the microplane the noodles tend to come out thinner, almost more shaved um, regardless of the width of the cutter which is only a single width cutter. Um, they, the vegetables just do tend to be a little bit thinner. And from my experience, it's a little harder to turn. But there you get the idea. And you can see like a lot of this, it seems to tear a little bit more than the vegetti does. And I've tried all sorts of ways with more pressure and less pressure. It just seems that this device is not as uniform in the noodles it produces. So there you see, see it's just a little bit, I don't know, chunkier and it has these little pieces like this. Also for some reason out of the microplane it comes out wetter and I don't know what that's about. It's the same exact zucchini. But so there you see the difference in just the basic zucchini. So I'm going to move these each out of the way and let's go to the next one. Now the microplane has a hole that's specifically designed for carrots. So let's put a carrot through in here. I did not peel my carrot. I rarely peel my carrots. You can see it does a nice job with the carrots. Okay, so let's get some nice carrots. Now we're going to do the same. Let's give us a blunt edge here with the vegetti. Now because the hole on the vegetti is a little bit wider than the microplane, it's easier to move the carrot around, so you do get a little bit more splitting. So honestly, in this case, the carrot was better done with the microplane than the vegetti, but it's still, I mean, it's fine. 
All right, let's try a yellow squash. One thing to remember when you're buying squash for this purpose is you don't want to get a squash that's too big. Um, it won't fit into the vegetti or the uh, microplane. So let's give this a go. Let's do it on the thin side to show you that. Again, I tend to go in a line going back and forth because it does create one long noodle if you haven't broken it yourself. And then you could just cut it in half because trying to eat one long noodle gets a little unwieldy. There again, oh, I should have taken this off. Using the safety cap allows you to get more of your vegetable in there and not cut up your fingers. The blades are sharp, don't be fooled. Okay, all right, so there's a little bit thinner noodle coming out of the vegetti. That looks good. Let me cut it in half. We will eat this as salad later. And now let's go with the yellow squash and the microplane. Again, it always seems a little bit more effort with the microplane. And again, it just does not come out as uniformly. And it could be operator error, but I've tried this now several times and I still always like the uniform thickness that, come, that I get with the Vegetti. And lastly, because I have one, we're gonna do a cucumber. Now the cucumbers are tricky because they're much wetter, but you can still do it. So again, we'll go with the Vegetti. Oh, you have to clean it out every once in a while. There we go. Let's go with the thicker and take the cucumber. And there you go. That does a very nice job. It'd be a great cucumber salad. And let's just cut this side off. And we'll go with the microplane now. See, it just, I don't know, I don't seem to have the same I'm not liking the cucumber at all in this. I just can't get it to come out uniform. And I keep spinning and nothing is really happening. <sighs> So there you have it. When it comes to vegetable spiralizers, there are plenty to choose from. These are just two, both available from your basic bed and bath store, both under $15. I think the microplane is a little bit less expensive, but if I were to buy just one of them, I would go with the Vegetti. It seems to create more uniform noodles and it's easier to operate. It has the two thicknesses of um, cutters and it has the safety cap, which is good for getting more vegetable into the cutter without risking cutting up your hands. So I hope you'll try a spiralizer. If you don't already have one, um, it might interest you to know that we often, because we love spiralizing so much, we often give away a spiralizer to a lucky newsletter subscriber. So if you're not already subscribed, head on over to the website and sign up. You just might win one. Happy spiralizing.